little, little bit about coming into the season. Uh, you guys getting off on the right foot on the road, tough atmosphere. Uh, just talk a little bit about the season. Uh, I think it was a good chance for us to get out there and uh, showcase uh, what we've been working on all off season. And I think uh, we show glimpses of great things, um, but we have a lot of room for improvement. We need to make sure we understand that uh, as a team collectively. And uh, I think JMU was a great team. They were really well, really well prepared. Uh, they had a couple guys that were heating up, and uh, they were really tough to stop. But uh, we just had to lock in, and uh, they had a great environment in here. Uh, so it was, it was a tough road game to start the year off, but it was good to challenge us. You know there's been a lot of talk about replacing Joe's three-point shooting. I don't know if anyone guy's going to do it, but you have a good game from outside. Is that a way you see yourself contributing more this year? Uh, no, it, it's just uh, just make sure that I continue to just get up extra shots and uh, just continue to shoot open, good open looks. And I think uh, I did, my teammates did a great job getting me open and uh, penetrating and kicking, and I just have to be there and be available to knock it down. And, uh, and not one guy can replace what Joe did. Joe, Joe was a, a really good shooter for us for, the, for four years. And uh, we have to do it collectively. And that's guys getting open, having their feet set, and being ready to fire. It's unusual for a major team to open on the road. You've done it. You get to win. Does that make going home? Will that be even more fun? Uh, we look forward to going home. That's uh, that's one thing that we do look forward to. We wanted to, we couldn't wait to be home uh, even before this game. But uh, we knew that we had a task in front of us. And whatever's thrown in front of us, uh, we want to make sure that we focus in on that. And then we worry about what comes after then. And I think uh, we did a great job focusing on this task at JMU. And uh, like I said, their, their crowd was very intense. And I think we did a good job responding. Talk a little bit about the uh, freshman's performance tonight, too. You know, we don't get to see them practice very often. Talk about how they responded tonight. Uh, they were tremendous. Um, Mariel, uh, BJ, Isaiah, those guys were so poised. I remember my first game, I got so sped up, and uh, I didn't see that in them. None of those guys got sped up. They played at their own pace, and I think a lot of credit to that goes to uh, us needing them in practice. Um, and, and just running through our stuff in practice, playing up and down in practice, and they started to get a good feel for what the college game was like. And, uh, and I'm really proud of them, and I hope that they just continue to be the best that they can be because uh, they all have promising futures. Uh, well, you know, we, we, we've prepared for it, but uh, as, a, as a freshman, you come in you're like, oh, man, I don't want to do too much of this or not do enough. But the older guys, they talked to me before the game, and they were like, just come in and do what you do. And, uh, I went from there, you know. I just brought, I tried to bring as much energy as possible, play defense, but it was it was one of the best experiences I've had in a while. That put back to that, uh, that sort of help you, you know, get your feet wet, get comfortable out there. Uh, yeah, I, I think I had a free throw before that, and then I was like, okay, well, as long as I don't airball these free throws, I'll be fine. And I, I got the put back dunk, and I was like, okay, well, it's time to go now. I feel better, I feel more comfortable. What do some of the older guys, the leaders on the team, tell you about coming on the road? Um, you know, especially different um, You know, they're telling me it's, it's going to be an environment. It's a lot different than high school, but as long as we stick together, we, ha we talked a lot about being a unit and being one. So just stay composed, be calm, and, and just play as one. Uh, you know, with London out, it's, um, it's definitely tougher to bring up the ball. Uh, but, you know, Devin has filled in well, and, he, you know, he's getting acclimated and learning to bring the ball up with pressure. And I just try to do what I can and help out. And what did you guys really try to focus on here tonight? Uh, being poised, but being confident, um, you know, poised in terms of getting stops, um, defending, uh, playing our defense the way we know how. And then on offense, being confident and running our offense through and um, getting the ball into our spots. And uh, talk a little bit about Isaiah's performance. I mean, you probably know him a little bit better just from being from Atlanta. Just talk about his performance. I thought he was very good. Isaiah is not a guy that gets out of his character. He really... Um, he knows where his spots are on the floor. He gets to them. If he's not in that spot, he's not going to shoot it. He's going to make the extra pass. And I think his unselfishness is really what um, makes him a key contributor on the team. And what are you guys going to work on for uh, Sunday? Uh, you know, going in there, we have a new opponent and making sure we know that the score is 0-0 at the beginning of the game and executing.